What's going on guys? Welcome back for another video. So today it's 55 degrees out, beautiful day. Um, but instead of going riding, I think today we're going to do an oil change on the Daytona. So the oil I use in the Daytona is called Mobile One 4T Full Synthetic Racing Oil. Um, I've ridden this bike for about 6,000 miles and I've ran this stuff in it. Um, the previous owner also ran this stuff in it. It's, it's a really good oil. Um, if you guys are looking for a full synthetic oil to run in your bike, I would definitely recommend the Mobile One. And of course you pay for what you get. This stuff is 10 bucks a quart, so it's a little expensive, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. So I got three quarts of this stuff, um, as well as we got our k and oil filter here. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is put the bike up on its stands. Doing an oil change on a sport bike especially is infinitely easier. Um, when you have the bike up on stands just because there's not a lot of clearance to drain the oil and there's just a bunch of plastic in the way anyway so let's go ahead and do that first it's always tricky putting the bike up on stands with one person Whew. all right there's the rear all right there's the front that was kind of nerve-wracking the next thing I'm going to do is just start the bike for about a couple minutes, get the oil a little warmer um, so it flows a little bit better and it'll drain a little bit nicer. So the next thing I'm going to do is just remove the fairings, um, this big fairing and then obviously the other side as well. Uh, I just have two screws here, an Allen, an Allen, and another Allen. Obviously the same thing on the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. I guess I forgot, we got to remove these plastic things too. There's one more screw on the top that come off with these things. And of course I forgot one more thing guys. There's two push tabs in the front and then two in the rear as well that connect. Um, they kind of hold together the left and right fairings. So of course we got to go ahead and remove those as well. Alright, one down. Alright, two. These things suck by the way. Three and four. Now this left fairing should just kind of come off as well as the like a middle piece down here as well that comes with it. Just like that. Set that over there so it doesn't get scratched anymore because it's already scratched from when I crashed. Let's go around to the other side and remove this one. Same process. We got the right fairing off. All right guys, so once your fairings are removed, obviously the next step is to drain your oil. So my drain plug is right here on the Triumph Daytona. Um, it requires a 13 millimeter socket, so let's go ahead and drain our oil. So one of the most annoying things when you're draining the oil is when your drain plug falls into the oil, so try to make sure that your drain plug doesn't fall in your oil. Let's see if we can manage to pull that off. Woo! Got it. So while we let this drain, um, the next thing we have to do is replace our oil filter. Um, one of the nice things I like about K&N, and I guess I think there, there's most of the other companies that make oil filters are starting to do this, but they put a nut at the end um, so we can use a socket instead of our hand to uh, unscrew our oil filter. I found that a 17 millimeter socket does the job just fine, so we're going to throw that on there and our oil filter is just going to pop right off. So that's obviously going to release some more oil. Um, so let's let, go ahead and just let that drain for a minute and uh, we'll come back and take it off. Alright, so our oil is slowing down a little bit there, now it's only dripping, so let's go ahead and take our filter off. Whew! Almost dropped it, holy crap. Alright, so now that our old oil filter is off, let's go ahead and get our new one and uh, slap that on there. But before we do that, um, one important thing to do is just wet your finger with a little bit of this new oil, a little bit of that new Mobile One, and uh, just kind of go around the edge of this rubber seal, kind of like this, just to um, lubricate that seal. It'll help it seal a little bit better um, to your engine. Make sure not to cross thread it, so don't push too hard on it, just kind of let it work itself on. All right, so there we go. And if you're wondering how tight to make this, just make it hand tight. There's no need to uh, use a wrench and actually tighten it all the way down. Um, just tighten it as tight as you can with your hand, really. Really, the tighter you make your filter is the harder it's going to be to take it off next time you have to change your oil. So um, hand tight is plenty. And now that our oil is pretty much done draining from our oil pan, um, let's go ahead and put our drain plug back in. Um, and you're supposed to replace this crush washer 
um, every time you change your oil. But this is my second time using it. Um, you really should replace it. I guess that's kind of the rule. But I'm just going to go ahead and reuse it. I've never had it leak. So um, let's go ahead and put that back on there. Not replacing it very well could bite me in the butt, but I don't have one on hand and I forgot to order one. So, I mean, if it does leak, I'll just have to go ahead and replace it later. Anyway, so let's go ahead and tighten this bolt up. Uh, one really important thing you're going to want to do is look up the torque spec on your specific drain plug bolt. I have a Triumph Daytona and my torque spec is 25 Newton meters. So we have our torque wrench here. Let's just go ahead and tighten this bolt down. So now that our drain plug is in and we have our new oil filter on, let's go ahead and just clean up any oil that might have dripped anywhere. Um, looks like we did a pretty good job to be honest. There's really no oil that dripped anywhere or anything like that, so that's pretty good. So next we got to head around to the other side of the bike where the oil fill is. Right around on this side right here. So now let's go ahead and fill our oil up. The oil fill is located right here on the Triumph Daytona. If you guys are wondering how many quarts the Daytona takes to completely fill, it's about 2.8 quarts. Alright guys, so this is our third quart, so what I'm going to do is add about half of this and then um, check the oil level and of course add some more if I need to. A funnel makes this job about, I don't know, 50 times easier. But I forgot mine, so stuck doing it the hard way. Oh shoot. All right, so that was just over two and a half quarts. So let's go ahead and check the oil and see if we need to add some more. I'm guessing we will. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just over the line. So I'm gonna go ahead and add probably um, half of what I have left. Which, like I said in the beginning, is just about a total of 2.8 quarts. Let's check it one more time. That's looking real good right in between the bottom level right here and the top level right there. Oil's right there. So that's pretty perfect. And if you guys are wondering, this is what's left of the third quart. And since I didn't have a funnel, uh, I pretty much spilled everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this oil around here. I learned my lesson for sure. All right, so the only thing left to do now is of course put our fairings back on and uh, start the motorcycle up. So let's go ahead and do that. One thing I really like about the Triumph Daytona is it's actually really easy to work on. Um, I had a Ninja 300, and from my experience, the fairings on this bike are actually a lot easier to take on and off than the Ninja, so I can definitely appreciate that about the Daytona. All right, guys, we are all done. Got the left, right fairings on, these two plastic pieces, so let's go ahead and start the bike up. All right guys, so there we have it. The oil change on the Daytona is done. Uh, we are ready for the 2018 riding season. Super excited. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a comment and like below, as well as if you have any questions. Um, but I will see you guys next Saturday for another video.